What's up YouTube, this is Zach here. Today I'm going to make you guys a short video just explaining the difference between CDMA and uh, GSM. Now this is useful when you switch phones or when you jailbreak. Uh, my channel does have a lot of jailbreaking videos on here and I know personally that I always, I don't know which you know, jailbreak to get because there's CDMA and there's GSM. So this video I hope it, got, it helps you guys out. Um, I'm going to tell you some differences and which one your device is. Now this diagram here is a little bit old, it's an iPhone 4, so this is going to be different now. But um, basically if you do have CDMA, 9 out of 10 times if you have CDMA, you're going to be using Verizon or Sprint. So if your iPhone is Verizon or Sprint, you're probably using CDMA. Now if it's AT&T or T-Mobile, you're probably using GSM. Now I'm not saying um, it's 100% because sometimes there's different things that your phone has on it. but 99% of the time, if you're using Verizon or Sprint, you're going to have CDMA. And then if you're using AT&T or T-Mobile, you're going to have GSM. Now, there's, it's just not something simple. You know, it's not just like, oh, there are two different companies. That's why they're two different things. There's a lot of differences between CDMA and GSM. Um, I know it's like a mouthful to say all the letters, but there, there's a lot. Um, one good thing about GSM, which I have CDMA because I'm on Verizon, but one good thing about GSM is it's easier to switch phones. Uh, let's say that I'm using an AT&T iPhone and my friend has another phone with the same size, you know, SIM slot and micro SIM slot. I could take my SIM card out and put it in his phone if he's on T-Mobile and I'm on AT&T. And both of the networks won't really have much control over it. Um, now, if I was on Verizon, I can't just go put my SIM card in AT&T phone. It'll never work. And same thing with AT&T. You can't put their SIM card in a Verizon phone. Um, but CDMA, it's a lot different because it's a network-based whitelist. They don't save all your information on the SIM card. Now, with GSM, most of your information is saved on that SIM card, so it's a lot easier to change phones, like I said. But... Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I was just kind of explaining that real quick here. I didn't want to take up too much time, but um, there's different meanings for each one. I'll leave a link in the description explaining a lot more. But CDMA stands for Code Division Multiple Access, and then GSM is going to stand for Global System for Mobilities. Um, there's there's ups and downs to each of them, so that's why I'm going to leave you guys a link in the description. But 9 out of 10 times, you guys are probably not going to really want to look at the link or watch this whole video because you're just looking to see what your phone is, and I understand totally. That's why I don't want to make it too long. So that's about it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or hit me up on Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys later.